Tonight's other top story, the city of Pelahatchee is still reeling over a deadly standoff with police Monday night. And tonight, the community is coming together to comfort one another. WJTV 12's Margaret Ann Carter joins us now live, not far from where that shooting happened with more. Margaret Ann? Right behind me here at Greater Works Outreach Ministry is where the community is coming together to start that healing process. And across the street, well, this is the home where Pierre Woods was shot and killed by police after police tell us that he opened fire on them first. Now, this has been a very traumatic incident for the entire city here. And as we previously reported, family members say Woods suffered from mental illness and Monday was the anniversary of his mother's death. Many believe that they could have prompted that violence. At one point, police fired tear gas and they say the suspect pointed a gun and fired at police. Officers opened fire shooting and killing Woods. Now, I just spoke with people here who say that they're going to have counselors here and I want to go back because they're lighting those candles right now. This community is really coming together tonight to help each other lay on each other's shoulders and just help each other heal from this very traumatic day on Monday. We will continue to bring you the very latest as this develops and MBI has taken over that investigation. So we will continue to follow up with that investigation as well. For now, we're live in Pelahatchee. Margaret Ann Carter, WJTV 12.